we have a grasp on Z-Spheres, let's take a look at building an armature with them. Let's start with a fresh new project. Open this Z-Sphere, and now let's save it, call it something that you'll remember, Armature, and then let's go ahead and get started. In our last episode, we talked about Z-Spheres having a hierarchical structure. So in this case, this Z-Sphere on the stage right here is our starting point on the chain. Let's start by creating a generic human form, and maybe down the road we can turn him into a creature. Now let's assume this piece right here, this Z-Sphere, is our basically a belly button of the creature. So we're going to be building arms and legs off of this center piece. Let's work with symmetry. So go ahead and press X on your keyboard or click on the symmetry icon over here. Now everything we do on one side will be replicated to the other side. And by default, the symmetry is based on the X axis, which is the red line here in the canvas. But depending on your project, you might want to align the symmetry with the Z or the Y axis. Just depends on what you're going to be working with. Okay, now hover over the Z sphere. You'll see that I have one dot on each side, and if we move closer to the center line, those two dots will kind of like snap into place um, into a green dot because we have some symmetry on. This tells us we are right on the middle of the Z-sphere. Okay, let's go ahead and click and then drag here to create the top sphere, and then repeat the same process at the bottom. We'll kind of play around with this a little bit. Okay, I think that's pretty close there. Now let's look at the symmetry in action. So go ahead and create another Z-sphere for the beginning of the leg around this area here. And another one for the shoulders. And just play around with that a little bit, get things adjusted here. Let's reduce the draw size just a bit, and that way it'll give me a little bit more control with these Z-spheres. Okay, now click and drag up here, kind of pull that out there, and that'll kind of lead into the wrists and the hands for our character. Now if you'll remember from our last video, we'll go ahead and use this trick. If you click right in between, you can add another Z-sphere. Now we can position the legs just a little better here. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for our elbows. Click there. Now we can move our arms around a little bit better. Let's work on the head and neck here. We'll go ahead and click another Z-sphere and pull it out. So one here at the top. And remember to do that right in the middle of the armature. Otherwise, you'll end up with a two-headed creature. Unless you want that, that's cool. But right now we're just doing the example of one head. Also let's add another one for the head here. Let's click and drag and make that a bigger head here. Okay, I like that. Alright, and this arm armature is getting close to being done here, but first we need to kind of tone in our hands and feet and ankles and wrists. So let's go ahead and zoom into the bottom Z-sphere, click and drag to create a foot, like so. Now let's add another Z-sphere uh, up here for the hands. Then we just need to add a couple more Z-spheres to create the fingers. And in this case, my character, I, I don't know if I'll give him five fingers or not. Let's let's see how that one plays out but for now let's just, just do a couple examples here so let's tweak these fingers here and move them into place okay and now we can use two more z spheres pretty much following the same process that we just did okay this is starting to look good and kind of play out here okay i think you're getting the point now so in the next video we'll take a look at kind of finishing this armature and getting it ready and prepped for sculpting. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.